For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do these two problems that said determine the magnitude of the projected component of the 100 pound force acting along uh, the axis BC of the pipe, so acting along this axis and then determine the angle between uh, BC and BA, which is this angle right here. So for the first problem, the first thing you want to do is find all the all the position vectors involved so a sits at negative 3i plus c or j plus c or k b sits at 0i plus c or j plus c or k c sits at 6i plus 4j minus 2 Okay, and D sits at 0i plus 12j plus c ok. Very easy to find. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the components of the, the Cartesian form of the force. You also know that the magnitude of the force is 100 pounds. So to find the Cartesian form, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find vector CD. You do so by subtracting vector D from position vector C. And this gives you negative 6i plus 8j plus 2k. The next thing you need to do is you need to calculate the magnitude of this vector. And you do so by doing the x component square plus y component square plus c component square you plug in these three values in this formula and you get that the magnitude is 10.2 so the unit vector cd is the next thing we need to find and is found by dividing the vector cd by its magnitude and this is equal to negative 0.58 8i plus 0.784j plus 0.196k. Now that you have this uh, unit vector, which is this tiny vector right here with a magnitude of 1, you can find the Cartesian vector form of f by multiplying the magnitude by the unit vector it acts along. So by multiplying this three values by this magnitude you find the Cartesian vector form of f which comes out to be negative 58.8i plus 78.4j plus 19.6k now that you have the Cartesian vector form of the force you can find the projected value along bc but first we need to find the unit vector or BC, this tiny vector right here. So the first thing we need to do is find the BC vector, which is C minus B. And it comes out to be 6i plus 4j minus 2k. The magnitude of this vector is found in this same manner. And it comes out to be 7.483. And the unit vector VC is found by dividing the vector VC by its magnitude. And it comes out to be 0.802i plus 0.534j minus 0.267k. And that is this vector right here. Now if you want to find the projection of f along bc all you got to do is do the dot product between the force and the unit vector bc which is what we just found the force is right here negative 58.8 i plus 78.4 j plus 19.6k dot 
0.802i plus 0.534j minus 0.267k. Now that we have uh, this is the dot, so it's negative 58.8 times 0 0.802, it's negative 47.2 plus 78.4 times 0 0.534 is 41.9 minus 19.6 times 0 0.267, it's negative 5.23. This can start to be negative 10.53, but they're asking us for the magnitude and the magnitude of a negative number is always a positive number, so it's 10.53. This is for the first part. Second part is easy. We already we need to find um, the angle between BA and BC. So we need BA first. BA is A minus B, which is negative 3i plus 0j plus 0k. And the magnitude of BA is obviously 3, because this is 0 and this is 0. So. And BC, we already have that vector right here. Let me put it on a square. Easier to see. So you know that BA dot BC by definition is equal to the magnitude of BA times the magnitude of BC times the cosine of the angle between them. So this is negative 3i plus 0j plus 0k dot 6i plus 4j minus 2k is equal to the magnitude of BA which is 3 times the magnitude of BC which is 7.483 we found it right here in case you forgot times the cosine of the angle between them by definition so negative 3 times 6 is negative 18 0 times 0 is 0 0 times uh, negative 2 is 0, sorry, this was 0 times uh, positive 4 is 0, and 0 times negative 2 is 0. This is equal to 3 times 7.483 cosine of data. So when you solve this equation for data, you're going to get that data is equal to 143.3. Final answer for the angle between them, this angle right here. And final answer for the projection of the force along BC. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.